Hello everyone, my name is Naning the Kwe and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about a topic that we seldom talk about once we leave our teenage years and that is pimples and acne. Welcome to my channel and please subscribe and also like this video if you feel that you liked it. So to be specific, I'm going to talk about 10 common things that we do that are causing our acne. There are things that we do in every day-to-day -day life without knowing or with knowing that are actually causing our acne and pimples. I have had acne for about 15 years in my lifetime and I learned a lot about acne. I'm not a dermatologist and neither am I a beautician, however, I've had enough acne to know what causes it and what you can do to remedy that situation. So thank you so much for watching and let's continue with the video. So one of the main causes of acne is diet. Watch what you're eating people, especially foods that are sugary and high in refined sugars, such as cakes, biscuits, sodas, sweets, are a very, very likely cause of your acne if you're eating these things very much in plenty and have acne. Now, if you want to combat this situation, I tell you to avoid the refined sugars, avoid the refined cakes, avoid um, things that have too much sugar in them because our body cannot take it. It's not only for acne, but it will also prevent diabetes and other sugar, blood sugar related problems. So these are things that you should actually look at in case you feel that you are taking too much of these things. They might be causing your acne. So. What is the ideal diet for this? The ideal diet to prevent your acne is actually fresh fruits and vegetables. I mean, you've had this probably a hundred times, but believe you me, these things in your diet, especially things like the sugars that I've talked about, actually do cause acne and are actually linked to acne. Another thing that we as Kenyans really eat a lot of is margarine and margarine is actually a cause of acne i was one of the people who had acne that had been induced by margarine intake so what do you do to combat this well change your margarine to butter or maybe something else jam peanut butter any of those things so now you know the second thing that might be a cause of your acne is actually poking or picking or tampering with existing pimples people i cannot stress this enough please stop poking or picking at existing pimples. In case you do that, that might actually be a cause of your acne. If you get one pimple, do not pick on it because it's going to transfer the bacteria inside that pimple onto your skin, forming other bacteria. And you don't really want more pimples, do you? So make sure that you're not poking or picking or tampering with existing pimples. Number three, using harsh skincare products. So if you do use harsh skincare products, what's going to happen is that the natural oils in your skin are going to be stripped away. Not only the natural oils, but also the natural moisture of your skin is going to be completely stripped away. And what happens when this happens? Your skin actually counteracts that by producing excess oil. You've stripped away its natural oil. It counters that by producing excess oil, which leads to your pores being clogged. So there's a possibility if you're using maybe alcohol-based products uh, in your regime, probably it might be the cause of your acne if you do have acne and pimples. So check your products before you purchase them and know what's good for your skin, guys. Point number four, dirty hair, dirty weaves, dirty wigs, dirty beddings, dirty makeup brushes, and anything dirty that is touching your face. As you know, something dirty definitely is harboring bacteria. And if you touch it to your face, it's going to transfer the bacteria from the dirty object on the way to your skin. So what happens after this? You get acne and you get pimples. So however much you might have a perfect skincare regime, but your hair is dirty or your wig or your weave is extremely dirty and harboring bacteria, it will obviously touch your face. Your hair will touch your face. And as a result, you're going to transfer that bacteria from your hair all the way to your skin you don't want that i don't think you want that so make sure that you wash your wigs and your hair and your weaves and your hair and your beddings and your makeup brushes because also makeup brushes that are dirty are going to transfer the bacteria that has been breeding on those makeup brushes all the way to your skin and you don't want that so 
that's something you can look into in case you're having acne and you've tried all these other things you've tried a perfect skincare regime you've tried changing your diet you've tried uh not using harsh products and then you are still not still getting acne you could definitely check on whether your hair is the one that is bringing the acne or your beddings or your makeup brushes or anything that is touching your face point number five certain hair products now you may have clean hair clean wig clean weave clean braids and clean everything around your hair however the hair products that you're using the oils that you're putting on your hair the shin sprays the braid sprays that you're putting on your hair are actually causing you to get acne on your face because as i said before your hair definitely touches your face now this is something that actually happened to me i used to have uh hair in an in, acne induced um what is it called acne induced by it was a braid spray that i was using constantly 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 on my hair and i discovered that it actually did give me acne and how can you tell this how can you actually tell that this braid spray or this braid sheen or this uh hair oil is actually causing my acne you look at the pattern of distribution of the pimples like for me my case it used to be distributed along my hairline i could see along my hairline on my forehead at the top there was pimples on my sides there was pimples and this side there was pimples all along the hairline so you can actually check on this and discover whether or not your hair um, product is actually causing you acne most of the time it's products that have mineral oil in them or products that do not have any natural oils in them but are using artificial petrolatum oil in them so number six certain skincare products may actually be causing your acne the reason for this is that sometimes there are people skins are different people are different and you do have to seek professional advice when it comes to allergies and such things but there are certain products that you might discover are actually causing your acne and when you stop using them they actually you do not have the acne or the pimples so what can you do about this what you can do is eliminate certain products from your skincare routine one by one to see which one is actually affecting your skincare point number seven that might actually be causing your acne this is still in relation to skincare products I talked about harsh products and I did talk about uh, uh, products that you're allergic to however there's a certain group of products that can also be causing your acne and that is exfoliators if you do over exfoliate in this case I'm talking about over exfoliation not exfoliation itself over exfoliation especially using face scrubs has been known to actually cause pimples <laughs> yeah so if you're ever exfoliating your face with a facial scrub what happens is this your face gets micro tears and what do micro tears mean bacteria can easily get inside those micro tears and what do bacteria do they form pimples so if you're using facial scrubs as exfoliators kindly go slow on the face scrubs yeah that is what might be causing your acne be causing your acne point number eight hormonal imbalance I mean we do have acne in our teenage years and probably when we do get pregnant we do get acne again so what causes this a hormonal imbalance and the only remedy is to see a doctor so that they can actually prescribe for you uh, measure your hormone levels and actually prescribe for you the right hormones that you can take in case you feel that the acne is way too much and it's really affecting your self-esteem and it's affecting your life and it's affecting other aspects of your life so we cannot fail to mention that as your cause of acne if you see that you're using clean pillowcases your hair is clean your face is clean uh, your your uh, you're using mild products you've changed your diet you're taking plenty of water which I forgot to mention by the way water is part of diet that is something you should take a lot of in order to have clear skin so if you feel that you're doing all these things and you're, you still have acne probably it might be hormone induced but make sure you consult a professional another thing that might be causing your acne is actually not moisturizing your face i mean this is part of skincare yes part of the routines but the other part that i talked about was actually the scrubs but this one is about moisturization moisturization is adding things that add moisture into your skin and if you're not adding things that add moisture into your skin water-based products that actually add water to your skin 
you might be causing your acne. As I said before, excessively dry skin causes the skin to trigger itself to produce excessive oils and sebum. Basically, sebum is oil, yes? To produce excessive sebum and then they, it clogs your pores and causes pimples. So, for those people who actually have oily skin, these are the most common people who refuse to moisturize their faces. If you have oily skin, don't wash your face with soap, don't wash your face with a face wash and then leave it like that, saying that your skin is going to get shiny, it's going to get acne because you have not moisturized it. If you've stripped the natural oils from your face, you have to return the moisture. You have to return the moisture. So make sure that you moisturize your face, whether you have dry, uh, dry skin, oily skin, and other types. Last, but definitely not least, definitely not the least, sleeping with your makeup on. Even if it's for one day, I've experienced it. I've gotten pimples, a few pimples, not really acne, because of sleeping with my makeup on. Sleeping with your makeup on, or even if you don't use makeup, not washing your face at least twice a day. You're supposed to wash your face not a lot of times. Morning and evening is okay, whether you use makeup or not. And if you're not washing your face at all, at all, definitely you're going to get pimples because buildup of bacteria on the skin is definitely going to cause pimples. And makeup, on the other hand, is like a layer that is very fertile for bacteria to breed in and therefore will cause you to, go to, to get acne or pimples if not curbed early. So, if you've reached this point in the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and also for those of you who've subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. I'll really appreciate it. Uh, stay safe, stay wonderful, be blessed. I post content each and every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday and sometimes in between those days. I appreciate it so much for watching the video and I'll see you in my next video.